One of the most exciting elements we can add to any landscape painting is a beautiful waterfall. And to just simply finish off the waterfall, have it spill into a cascading stream as it churns forward to another waterfall. These are the exciting elements that we need to learn how to do to make our landscapes just really shine. And you know the amazing thing about it, it's absolutely easy to do. And I'm going to show you that how to do it right now. I've loaded my brush with some phthalo blue and white paint on both sides of the brush. I'm on a dark canvas that's been pre-primed with liquid clear and I have a coat of Prussian blue over it. And that's just so we have something to work with. I want to take the fan brush and see how I'm just holding it in straight. And the edges are touching the canvas and I just pull it over until I get to the where I want the canvas to uh, begin the waterfall. And then boom, just like that. It's like a tiny little bubble floating on top of the stream and then all of a sudden you just pull the plug out on it and it goes as it crashes to the bottom just like that that's such a nice little waterfall i think we're going to leave it right there and you know every time water falls over a cliff the side of a cliff and it hits that ground underneath those rocks underneath it creates a splash with some foam pattern so to create that i just take my brush set it in like this and bend up and that just creates a nice amount of paint down there and we can go ahead and take a larger brush like a two inch wide uh, horsehair brush and just go ahead and notice i'm using just the edge of it and i'm swirling around swirling around there we go just stretch that paint as much as you can and in fact if you'd like to add a little accent you can take a little lighter color and just add it and swirl it in again. See what a delightful foam pattern that makes. What really makes some of these waterfalls exciting is to go ahead and load up your brush again and come right into the center of this. See that? Now I'm just coming forward and I'm making a nice little stream as it comes out from beneath all of the foam from the rocks and everything that's back there and then make a smaller waterfall let's call it a cascade we'll go right across the whole stream and of course it has its own little splash right there on the bottom see how i'm just lifting up with the tip of the brush and you can even just say hey this is the end lift up just like that and then brush out those foam patterns bring them over one of the nice things you can do is just go ahead and bring out this side is a stream and then whew, pull it over there yeah oh, we run out of paint you know, in my classes so often, I have students that say, I don't have any paint. Don't have any paint. What do I do? And I say, quickly, add some more. You know, the first rule of painting, you must have paint in order to paint. We just go in and we reload that brush, and by golly, we can continue right on painting. And that's what's exciting. Always make sure you have plenty of painting. See, I just put in those splashes. See how I'm rubbing backwards and forwards? And I've created depth in this because as I went over like this, I got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as I went back. So I've gone up almost an inch right there, maybe even an inch and a half. And that shows a lot of depth on that cascade. And we can even do the same thing on the other side. See, I load it up. Every time you see my hand disappear, I'm loading up with more paint because I certainly don't want to violate that rule. I don't know what happens, but, you know, I just don't want to do it. All right, there we go. Pulling that out, putting those splashes right in there. Let's finish off this other side. See, isn't that nice? And now we're bringing that one out so it almost looks like it's coming right out at you. And I'm blending out the bottoms. That's so important. That just kind of like sets those cascades right in. See this rocking stroke? this water is moving and then as I told you before what makes a waterfall really exciting breaking it into cascades and then coming down here for yet another waterfall you've seen this you've been to Yosemite Grand Canyon Little Canyon maybe Medium Canyon and you've seen those waterfalls where they have two or three sections here we go we're just coming come straight across and then choom, make that noise I have waterfall sounds I have Seascape sounds. I have all kinds of sounds. They just help me paint better. 
see that? You come just straight across. You don't need to go super fast. And we're going to make this a lot wider than the one we did before, just so we can show depth in on that. See, I didn't get a chance. I was talking. Didn't get a chance to make my sound, so I'm going to make it really good now. All right. Like that waterfall. So now at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and lift up again and make my wave, make my splash. I love making my splash. Just sit here and there's a bunch of smiley faces. I think everybody's just so happy. See, if I press a little hard, I get a little extra white, and that's okay. I'll take advantage of that. Because as I come here, again, for blending, I'm lifting to the side like this. So just the tips of that brush is being used. See all of that work, how I'm just blending it? Almost looks like a cotton ball. This is exactly the same way we blend clouds. That is just great. Then I can just grab the edge if I want to show it splashing upward. I can just grab the edge using a little bit of pressure now and just go ahead and stretch this upward. Maybe there's all kinds of rocks and it's just splashing upwards to bushes and stems and so forth. Now the only other thing that might make this waterfall great is if I had some sunlight that was sparkling right over that. And so to do that, I'll just add a little bit more medium and a little bit lighter color. So all I'm going to do is add just a little bit more white to what I've been using. I'm going to come right back up here and with a very, very light pressure, see how easy that was? We'll just come over here. Now, no pressure, because if you use pressure, what you're going to end up doing is destroying the water that you have because it's all going to mush together for light mud. So use a very, very light pressure. In time, you'll find that light pressure is as second nature as it comes. Learn to use lighter pressure than uh, heavy pressure. Now, you've got a beautiful waterfall here. Let's go practice this now.